Uh, there are uh, lots of underdogs here in town. Sports director Nick Carboni introduces us to one of them. Coming off the course on Tuesday after a practice round, Marcus Bird had a 104 degree fever, but he still found a way to stay in town and compete the last two days because for Marcus Bird, a fever is nothing. Yeah, you know, it's just another another obstacle, you know, another thing of adversity. The 25 year old lost his father three years ago and his mother was badly injured in an auto accident when he was nine. So despite a nasty bug early this week, Bird was determined to play. You know, I feel like that's just um, a lot of people who support me will want me to be out here. And um, as much as I want to say I do it for myself, you know, I do it for the people who look up to me, the people who support me. Birds found success on the nonprofit APGA, Advocates Professional Golf Association. But unlike the top golfers on the PGA Tour, Bird has a week to week existence and a nomadic one too, often with little payoff. He played here this week on a Wells Fargo special exemption and earlier this year played Tiger Woods Genesis Invitational under the Charlie Sifford Memorial exemption in honor of the Charlotte golfer who was the first black player on the PGA Tour. Uh, just to be able to represent and um, get in the Charlie Sifford Award this year and then to be able to come back to his hometown and be able to uh, get this exemption and play and uh, play at Quail Hollow, it's just pretty special. and. Um, just happy to show the kids back at home that somebody like me can do this. Well, it was a much better round two for Bird, who birdied his first hole of the day, then finished with birdie, birdie par, and ended Friday at even with a 71. At Quail Hollow Club, Nick Carboni for WCNC Charlotte. Nick, thank you.